Welcome. In this episode, I finally start to make one of the most critical parts of my watch, the balance bridge. I had this piece of brass laying around. If you've ever seen the very first video that I uploaded on YouTube, which was how to use the watchmaker's wax chuck, um, this was the piece that I made on that video using the wax chuck, which was almost like three years ago. And it was for a completely different project, but I'm putting all my energy into my goal. And I've learned from making this mistake so many times because it is very easy to get sidetracked. There are so many things that I'd like to make horological tools or just general metalworking machine shop type of stuff. You know, I could spend days coming up with a whole list of, of things that I want to make, but like almost everyone, my time in the workshop is very limited. So I'm just really laser focused right now on trying to, you know, finish making my watch, my first watch the first prototype of my watch. And I think right now it's the only way that I'm going to achieve those goals. And until I have some spare time to work on other side projects, you know, I'm just going to put everything in this. So long story short, that's why I'm going to use this brass piece, um, sort of like as a bit of a sacrifice to, to completing the watch. So how that will be done is I'm just going to put some super glue around uh, this part of this piece. I'm going to attach the main plate to this brass piece. And then it's got a nice little lip here where the face plate can grab. And I'm basically using this piece to avoid damaging the main plate when I'm centering the balance bridge jewel hole in the lathe, which is super critical. Now that I've opened up the hole to the correct diameter, I need to make the recesses for the stud support, upper index, and the shockproof jewel setting. Unlike friction jewels, um, where the end shake can be adjusted by moving the friction jewel slightly up and down within the jewel hole, the shockproof jewel setting actually sits flush on the recess and there's no way to adjust it. So basically, there's no way to correct end shake for the balance wheel. These dimensions really need to be um, as spot on as possible. So I'm gonna try and nail the dimensions bang on. I was uh, super nervous about going into this, especially since the previous three days had been, had been such a disappointing, um, you know, outcomes, just making silly mistakes on my behalf. Maybe I was rushing. I should have just stopped, have a, 
have a few breaths, have a few deep breaths and, and, and regather my train of thoughts and, and processes. And you know what, the, these things happen and you know, I only can try and learn from it again. It's a, it's a common mistake that I keep making. I am getting better, but you know, sometimes I do fall for the trap where you're just trying to rush things and you know, not always thinking correctly. Also very excited because I'm going to be using that 0.8 millimeter tool that I made earlier this week to uh, make the recesses. Now that's done, before I can um, measure the dimensional accuracy of the recesses, there's just one more thing. I think I mentioned it previously in my last video, and that is I need to make the recess um, on the underside of the balance bridge just a bit deeper. It has to be 0.15 um, mil deeper um, so that I have the correct distance between the main plate and the underside of the balance bridge. I just want to mention, one thing though, I think that um, the original hole that I had for the balance bridge shockproof setting wasn't uh, correctly centered, but the diameter that I could only open up the hole to wasn't enough to get rid of the error that was present in the original hole. So I think there might be a slight error with the concentricity of that jewel hole. I'm not too sure of what the impact on the end result is going to be on the balance bridge. I'm a bit nervous, but um, I guess soon we're gonna find out. And before I go scrapping this whole piece, I wanna try and ensure that I can get the other dimensions um, correct. And uh, you know, this is a prototype number one, so it's good to nut out all the issues in manufacturing that I can before I proceed. <laughs>
So now it's time to test the dimensions of the recesses that I've created for the balance bridge. Um, these are the most critical ones. So here I have the original balance bridge and I'm going to zero off on the underside of the support so I can measure the distance from the underside of the support to the um, underside of the balance bridge arm. So that will ensure I have the correct distance between the main plate and the underside of the balance bridge arm. As you can see, the original balance bridge has a distance of 1.15 millimeters and I'm checking my piece now, it's 1.16. So a difference of 0.01 millimeters, it's not too bad. Now to check the really critical um, dimension of this part, which is the recess of where the shockproof setting is going to sit. So this will control the depthing of the balance wheel. To do this, I'm just going to put the balance bridge on the main plate and I'm going to zero off on the main plate and get the height to that recess. So the original is 1.165 millimeters and, uh, and mine's 1.165 millimeters. So I'm really happy with those uh, results. I think I'm within the tolerances that are available within the watch for, for those dimensions. And um, yeah, I'm really nervous and excited at the same time about finishing off the balance bridge and testing if it's gonna work.